Hi everybody. I just want to show you some radar or satellite images that I have captured in just uh, the last two days, really. <laughs> look at this. Look, radar, I have never seen it like this before. And the making of severe storms out of nowhere, I'm seeing it all the time now. All of the time. This is current time. Nextra Doppler radar. Um, and current time is 4.21 p.m. It is July 7, 2019. See the frequencies blasting here, the extremely low frequencies blasting uh, from Galveston through Texas and the Dallas area into Oklahoma, California. You sure do have an awful lot of frequencies, Southern California frequencies, emitted in this area where you are having earthquakes. Um, okay, it's what I'm going to show you are clear uh, indications of man's hand in these weather events. Now you see the frequencies. That's the North Carolina Virginia border. Extremely low frequencies being set off and as they're set off you can see the building of severe weather. But all of these blips that we are seeing now erupt out of nowhere. These little blobs of severe weather and they come together in a lot of areas to make very big storms, all manufactured by man. Manufacturing in the U.S. of A. Uh, has, uh, Trump did not bring back manufacturing. The manufacturing that's taking place is the manufacturing of weather. All right, so you see, look at this. We've got Doppler radar creating creating precipitation right here in is that Missouri yeah I've never seen I've never seen radar the way I have seen it this past year and it's only gotten worse and I do believe that they have so perfected weather modification their techniques and nanotechnology is being used. And now, whether what we're seeing, algorithms. Now, can I state that definitively? No. But I am seeing a lot of very strange happenings, like storms that there's no weather front coming in. The storm is created, erupts out of nowhere, and stays put doesn't move. The jet stream is all over the place, um, which you will see. You know, this this appears to be, you know, this storm in, what is this, uh, Alabama? Well, some force is really pushing this one down. But this is going south. It looks like a lot now is going south. These storms on the Atlantic coast, now they're claiming that we're going to get a tropical storm or a tropical depression. And originally they said it was going to develop in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. What is this? You see these, these, uh, these, you know, severe storms or precipitation that create, just is created and then dissolved. That's what I'm noticing in the last couple of days. So, all right, now this is flying into Florida, but this is kind of, well, pretty much holding in place. Frequency is being set off. in uh, 
South Florida. These things are not going anywhere. They're just kind of dissolving. I've never seen <laughs> radar. It's not like, how do you, how do meteorologists look at this and then get on the tell lie vision and spew their lies? How do they do that? How do they sleep at night? I don't know how liars who just lie to people, they hurt people, they can sleep fine. They're fine. I don't get it. I will never get it. Here, none of these storms being created in Texas are coming in from the Gulf. They're erupting. All right, so I want to show you. And as you can see, these are moving northeast. Here you got northeast. Here you got, whoa, a real, there is a real propulsion going on here. You know, just driving this through to Mississippi and then also down into Louisiana. And this is going further south. And all of these on the panhandle of Florida, all of this is just a creation. You can see the frequency shot right here. Right here. Last night we had the creation of a severe storm. You know, I had seen the lightning go on and on and on for hours last night, and then I hear thunder, and then I go over to uh, this site, and I see that they developed a severe storm right smack on the border of Georgia and South Carolina. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Um, this, a subscriber told me to take a look at Mi Mimic, I think, it, I don't know, two days ago or yesterday. Well, we've had unbelievable frequencies going through the United States. This looks like, what are they trying to develop, this hurricane? Um, certainly has the counterclockwise pattern. Look at the frequencies going through the U.S. Now, all of these lines that you see, that these are not glitches, frequencies. And as you can see, the frequencies are the bending shape or the straight edge shape or bending east, bending west, going up straight. All of this affects our natural processes and all of this affects the jet stream. You see a real powerful, extremely low frequency shot right through well, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, which is coming up. Right there. And then another shot up north. And at the same time, this was happening. And look at these frequencies. Now this is July 5 at 7 p.m. Look at the frequencies. So sometimes I've got to back away because I feel like it's seizure inducing watching this. The frequencies that are taking place, in, even if you're in an area where you're not experiencing severe weather, you're still affected by all of these frequencies. Now, when you look at this, look at all of these frequencies, all of these lines, these very defined lines. You know, precipitable waters move smoothly. They don't, this is not 
this is man inducing frequencies to disturb the atmosphere to bring about an awful lot of severe weather. And it's, as you can see, you know, happening in pretty much, I don't know, two-thirds of the country. Well, everyone is affected. All life is affected by man inducing artificial uh, electromagnetic frequencies. So, you see there's something pulling this down here, this storm. You see the microwaves, you see the extremely low frequencies, you see the high frequencies, you see the jet stream going all over the place. This is going down south, this is going northeast, this is going northeast. Um, this is just being created. Look at, um, yeah, you've got earthquakes in California. And again, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it was 4 p.m. on July 5, the frequency is being set off in California and crossing. Now, I have a playlist, weather modification. And on that playlist are videos about scalar technology and the crossing of the beams, very dangerous and they can produce an awful lot of destruction. So, but this blob of severe weather in North Florida, you've been, it has been there over 24 hours, just sitting there, not moving. You have this one being pushed down south, North Florida, and look, when I've done my research, I'm finding very little now. So I need to hear from you guys in North Florida. How bad was it? Uh, did you get a lot of flash flooding? Did you get, you know, a lot of... Because what it looked like was pretty severe. Kansas also. All of these manufactured um, look at the microwaves in use, the extremely low frequency at the same time, frequencies coming from Doppler radar, Gwen, Gwen Towers. You see the creation, which is you know, essentially, you can see that there's a line, and that's um, Colorado. Let me go back up. Here, all of this is being developed in pretty much a line. Montana, you got flash flooding. Um, you can see the extremely low frequencies going through these severe weather events. Right here, Florida, South Carolina, these storms just sat there for a while. And then they were just moving up. Well, they didn't move up. No, excuse me. You'll see in other captures, so many of these were just erupting out of nowhere and then they dissolve quickly. Um, here's another nice defined line of severe storms in Pennsylvania where you got flash flooding. So the cloud manufacturing all right, we have these clouds moving. We have, so we have two, it looks like two air masses, one going up north, one going south. And yes, on that playlist, weather modification, I have many videos uh, going through the facts and the evidence of how man can steer air masses 
in different directions, creating an awful lot of atmospheric instability to bring about severe storms here in South Carolina. The clouds aren't moving. They're literally being uh, made bigger and bigger. I also have videos. One, how the different methods in which they can create artificial cloud. And I think many areas are so saturated with those heavy metals in which they can use to make artificial cloud. They use aluminum, they use barium, they use strontium, they use lithium. So injecting that, all, <coughs> all of those heavy metals into the atmosphere, then hit them with electricity and voila, you've got cloud. You can also use microwaves to lift humidity from even very small bodies of water and create cloud. And then we all know you can hit them with a laser and voila, you've got flash flooding. Look at this perfect round blob being created. This is not how Mother Nature works. Not at all. Not at all. We have what is a defined line of cloud right there. Right here. Yeah, they're causing an awful lot of... It's... So you have this air mass. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it again. Okay, you have some force pushing this down. And that's uh, Oklahoma, Iowa, I mean, um, Arkansas. You've got this... I think I went too far. All right. Go back. All right. There is a force pushing these clouds down. And you see the band that develops. That's what I think what we're seeing on radar. All of these blue lines, and they appear at the periphery of these storms, but it's like the storm or the cloud is following it. And I think that's the plasma. Here we've got the creation of cloud. Uh, New Mexico. None of this, none of this is how Mother Nature works. You, Mother Nature doesn't make tire tracks in her cloud which you can see right here. The microwaves at use, the blowing up of cloud. And I saw this article about how Colorado, Denver, they would be getting storms that would lock in, lock in. Now we have storms that lock in. Well, you had a storm that locked in in Florida, North Florida. Storms don't not lock in. So here, look at all, you know, you've got you've got one air mass that's going south, another air mass going north, air mass is going west, all over. They're just all over. And when you disrupt the natural processes, you disrupt all life. So how are you guys feeling? even if you're not suffering the consequences of these flash, flood, tornado, large hail events. Now you can see all of the frequencies right through this storm and th this was the cloud that I saw 
that I showed you being pulled down, there's a force right here pushing this down. Well, that's what they can do with electromagnetic frequencies. And if you look closely, you can see frequencies involved in all of these weather events. This was Florida, and I, you can see the frequencies in the precipitation. Just look for perfect circle lines or perfect defined lines. So here you have this, these uh, pockets of precipitation moving. This stays in place. This has stayed there for 24 hours. And when I do the research and I don't come up with anything about Florida, yes, that absolutely begs questions. So all of these, we, we don't see weather fronts coming in anymore. You know, we don't hear the kind of uh, weather reporting that we did now we hear, oh, a surprise, it was a beautiful day, and then flash flooding occurred. Um, why? Because you can see it on radar, the development of storms. This is not how storms move at all. It's not moving. It's just being affected by frequencies. As you can see, all of the extremely low frequencies right here, that nice circular line, another circular line. That's the high frequency heating into the ionosphere, pushing it up, and then it comes down when they turn off the frequency, and it comes back to Earth as extremely low frequencies, but very powerful frequencies and they can create an awful lot of destruction when those frequencies come bouncing back down to earth. Um, yeah, it's, wow, man, so much, so much, so much. This was on the 5th at 11.30 at night, Eastern Standard Time. Frequencies here, 8.30, Southern California, crossing. Uh, the frequencies have been blasting away Southern California. Look at this blast of frequency in Missouri. Now, they're also claiming that Missouri is going to get hit with more flooding, Iowa, uh, from these uh, levees that have been destroyed, and they can easily destroy levees with ex uh, electromagnetic frequencies. But as you can see, all of these bands of blue, yes, I do think that this is plasma being created from Doppler radar stations. Look at this train of thunderstorms. Now, one of the reasons why I say, nanotechnology. The research that I did years ago, clouds can talk to one another now. They can create clouds with nanotechnology. And let me interrupt myself by saying, what is this? This long band of precipitation that, oh, just disappears. It just disappeared. Wow. Voila gone. All right. This uh, structure created by man has been in the same area over 24 hours. These frequencies blasting away in Missouri. All right, what's going on? Frequencies blasting away in Missouri. You've got a real push going through the storms underneath, and then they disappear.
Okay, but the this the the training that they call now, it's the training of uh, thunderstorms. Watch how this develops. You'll see the eruption of severe storms, little blobs, and they all connect. Yes, nanotechnology talks. It communicates with other nanoparticles. So, let's see. And here, you have a circular pattern clockwise of storms developing, but nothing uh, this seems to be moving north and then maybe south I mean northeast and here you have this coming back down there's no the only way that a meteorologist could look at this and reason what they see, weather, modification, man, using frequencies. Because Mother Nature doesn't explain what you see here. Our natural processes does not explain what you see here. What is happening? So frequencies, extremely low frequencies, another frequency shot, this whole storm was blown away in North Florida. Well, this was on the 5th at 11.30 p.m. It was blown away, this storm in South Carolina. See how they don't move? They're not moving. They erupt, come together, or dissolve. All right, this was uh, 17 minutes after midnight, so it was 9.15 p.m. on the 6th, yesterday at 9.15 p.m. Extremely low frequencies, powerful. Southern California, where you've had your earthquakes, and um, the frequencies in Northern California, well, you'll see the precipitation suddenly develop and then dissolve or itself. But um, which I think I moved back to California. All right, so we still have this storm here. Kansas, Oklahoma. We still have massive um, powerful frequencies being shot out from Missouri that blow away what's happening down here in Arkansas. Microwaves hitting this storm. You can see, look into you know, the precipitation. And in the yellow or red, you can see the microwaves. You can see the ripples develop. You can see the sawtooth characteristics at the periphery of these storms. That's another uh, frequency. But all of these straight lined, these defined edges, that's man. That's man controlling the weather. So the frequencies, look at the precipitation that's developed from the frequencies. You hit an area of, you know, the atmosphere that's saturated in some particular heavy metal. You hit it with electricity and you can create a cloud. 
hit it with another frequency, you can create it to drop its rain. So Northern Florida has their storm literally just break apart, but it never moved anywhere. Extremely low frequencies being shot in uh, Mississippi or Alabama, Alabama. And this is uh, on the 6th at 2.20 p.m. Here, the frequencies off the coast of California still firing up, but the frequencies in Southern California really firing up. Uh, you've got precipitation that develops and dissolves. You have massive frequencies shooting out from Louisiana into Texas, the crossing of the beams, and you still have this. What? It didn't move? No, it doesn't move. So Kansas and Oklahoma and northwest Texas, how are you doing? This is at 2.20 p.m., 12 hours after I showed you the radar that had that storm in the same place. So you have the development of storms in Georgia. They just are created and don't move. They're not moving east. These storms are coming down into the Gulf. What you've got these extremely low frequencies shooting out of uh, Jacksonville area. And all right, so this was 220. PM, you have storms that, oh, they, well, they were there, but now they're gone. Now they're gone. You have, you can literally see radar now creating precipitation. And here, up here, um, I just passed it. Do I come back to it? Yes. Look, this is um, Indiana. The creation of precipitation. Carol. I should have stayed there longer. It's the creation of precipitation, and then it's gone. Now, this is not a very long loop. It's a couple of hours. Creation and it just goes away. All of this is new. Okay, so this is on the 6th at 12.02. Massive amount of frequencies coming out of Louisiana. My God, I've never seen it so unbelievably intense. Still the frequencies in California. Also in Northern California, you see the blips of precipitation being made. And here we have yet another storm for Northern California. Um, jet stream here, the creation of a storm, Northwest Texas, and then it just dissolves. The jet stream, this is going out uh, west. This is just being created right here at the North Florida. This is going up northeast. And this is uh, the 6th, July 6th, yesterday at 10 10.24 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Still massive amount of frequencies being shot off in Southern California. Um, loads of frequencies being dumped into, oh, those weather events. 
that we heard about in Pennsylvania. None of this is uh, Mother Nature. Weather is now controlled by man and algorithms. You see the band of plasma? Since when do we have weather fronts that are created on land and then are moving south into the Gulf? See all of the frequencies in the Gulf being used. Think about all of the life that's being killed off. Aquatic life. So look how nicely defined this train becomes perfectly defined. Wow! Mother Nature, you go girl, you got it down. And here is this Kentucky, West Virginia. Yeah frequencies being shot into these storms. Oh, so you have a tornado in New Jersey. Oh, you have more flash flooding. Oh, trees down everywhere, power outages. All right, yeah. I'd like to hear from those in Oklahoma, Northwest Texas, Northern Florida, Kansas, because I haven't seen anything come in from your areas, but I've seen, wow, looking bad, severe weather. If you got this far, thanks for watching.